he needs to sedate the elephant so that the snare can be safely removed. Guys, we are ready. We go help the elephant. This is good. I'm happy now the vet's here. Fred works alongside a spotter plane to locate the injured bull. He wants to dart it quickly to stop it from suffering. Okay, so let's go to the So Fred's managed to fire the dart and the elephant's taken yeah. off through the trees, so we're just gonna, gonna try and locate it. Choppers on the ground. Oh my goodness. Jeez. That's really shocking. I'm going to get a black and get a black and black and get a black and get a black and on his side, the bull's breathing is laboured. We have to move fast to remove the snare. Oh, they've got me. The poachers have simply used winch cable from a truck. A snare like this is cheap to make. It could have caught any of Weaver's family. The reason that this animal has endured this unimaginable pain is for this. It's tusks. It just it defies belief how cruel people can be to, to animals and how senseless this whole thing is that you can cause so much suffering, so much pain. For, for an ornament, simply for an ornament. It's poor animal. He's treated with a special clay that'll help heal the wound. What do you think, Fred? You think he's? You think it'll survive? Ah, you can see the guy's body condition is good. He was walking, and also it was getting to another bad level, but he's still okay, it will survive. You see the bone is not involved. Okay. The bone is intact. Okay. So when the bone is intact, the soft tissue can easily... Really repair. ...recover, yeah. Finally, the wound is treated with an antibiotic spray. All that remains is to wake him up. Whoa, oh my word. Hey, fella. Okay, move back. Not taking any chances. <laughs> Perfect launch. And a controlled drop. This is as good a descent as it's possible to make.
Its parents are there to meet it. A little dazed, perhaps, but all in one piece. One gosling, at least, hasn't made it. And this chick appears to be in a bad way. At last, it responds to its mother's calls. The resilience of a barnacle goose chick is extraordinary. But there are still chicks unaccounted for, somewhere amongst the rubble. The parents can't risk searching because they need to lead their two survivors away quickly before predators arrive. A third one has made it. But it needs to catch up. Reunited. Three out of five chicks have made it. Without such a dramatic start in life, it's unlikely any of them would have even got this far. If they become separated, they could easily drown. The mothers try in vain, but they can't contain all three. As they save one, another washes away. Oh God, it's still going and the baby's gone. Soon all three are being swept downstream fast through the crocodile infested waters. The current's even too much for the mothers. They have to let their babies go. David can't see how they can possibly survive. Oh, oh man, this is no good. Let's go, let's go. Let's go. You can hear the poor females. OK, up. No, 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 right, right. All the big females are running. Oh, God. OK, one baby is out. Man, the other one is here. The other one is here. Wow. There are two babies actually here. Wow, they're really tough. Come on, 
big females come in. Oh, please don't move. Oh, they're coming down. The females are coming down. I hope they will save them because they will get tired. And if a croc grabs them, that's it. The poor mothers just don't know what to do. They have no way of lifting them out. And David can't even help. Oh, come on, females, get in and save the babies. The riverbank is sheer and the babies are weak and terrified. joyful to see all of them again coming back together. Leopards are the most versatile of all the big cats, adept at finding cover in the most unpromising places. The steep walls of the gully are now her cover for an ambush. The male puku is close enough, but he's too big to tackle. She needs to slip past him without being seen. If he spots her, he'll blow her cover. Slowly it does it. To succeed here, she needs to find prey grazing close to the edge. Or better still, in the gully itself. Success would have staved off hunger for a week. But while there's prey around, there's hope. Peeking over the top is a risk, but it's the quickest way to find a new target.
burst of speed of 65 kilometers an hour, and it's all over in less than six seconds. Except it isn't. Dazed and disorientated, the Impala makes a miraculous escape. I've just seen a really good sized crocodile slide into the water, and I'm just trying to get a handle on where it is. of this size could be 50 years old and would have no trouble taking an adult wildebeest or me. This is the closest I've ever been to lying alongside a dinosaur. Massive male makes for the surface. But simply takes a breath and heads straight back down towards us. It's coming after us. It's following us along the bottom. Big males battle to dominate their territories. He clearly sees us as a challenge. We've no choice but to risk a dash for the surface. without a doubt, the most frightening experience I've ever had with an animal. 